The Gates Foundation's recent global survey indicates that by the end of this century, the world's population will have increased by 4 billion more people, and 3 billion out of these will likely be born in Africa and the United States' future progress toward lowering global poverty and enhancing health could be jeopardized by the rapid population growth in some of Africa's poorest nations. Here is Bill Gates' Africa population boom concerns and what it means to the U.S. Africans are anticipated to make up more than half of the world's population growth between 2015 and 2050, according to UN statistics. By 2050, it is expected to have doubled in size, and by 2100, it is expected even to double more. Africa receives half of the funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Together with fellow billionaire Warren Buffett, they have contributed more than $50 billion, 38 billion pounds, to the foundation. The Gates Foundation Goalkeeper's annual report describes how investing in human capital, such as in health, education, and opportunity, enables young people to support the expansion of their country's economies. According to the research, these expenditures may boost the gross domestic product of African nations by 90% by 2050. By 2050, the Gates Foundation report projected that only two countries may end up being the only African countries actively facing extreme poverty. Stay with us and let's find out which countries they are. According to Bill and Melinda Gates, ending poverty in Africa should be the top priority for the U.S. over the next three decades. In addition to the $9 billion they have already invested in the continent, their foundation declared in 2016 that it would invest $5 billion in Africa over the following five years. Bill Gates' concern about population boom in Africa, many reasons behind it, one of which according to Gates is expanding access to birth control as well as spending money on young people's health and education. The biggest things are the modern tools of contraception, Gates said. If you have those things available, then people have more control over being able to space their children. The report urged policymakers to encourage women to exercise their freedom to decide how many children they have, when they have them, and with whom in the report section on family planning. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's annual Goalkeepers Report surveyed projected a population increase could be up to 30% smaller, and research found that poverty in Africa is increasingly concentrated in a few countries and it projected that more than 40% of the world's extremely poor people will leave in just Congo and Nigeria by 2050. Damn. Everyone deserves access to great information, and we are on that journey to provide you with quality content. Make a good choice by subscribing to our channel. On one hand, Bill Gates' concern about the population boom in Africa and its impact on the U.S. had to do with Trump's concern about stopping funding family planning organizations that offer abortion services. But one fact here is that a third of U.S. global aid goes to Africa and Gates is on the journey to stop population growth in Africa by funding abortion. Well, well, well. When asked how best population and poverty growth could be tackled, Gates said improving access to birth control was the most important and focusing on the youth's health and education. Other factors aside family planning and migration actively affect Africa's population concerns. This we would find out shortly. Bill Gates expressed other concerns about Africa and further explained that the stability of Africa has a significant impact on the U.S. and the world as a whole. The dangers are now apparent such that a pandemic like Ebola can spread extremely fast and many others do so much more quickly in the absence of local health services to control them. It is inevitable that external factors, in the long run, may become internal problems, such that overpopulation in Africa will lead to migration for the U.S. Thus, managing these potential threats from Africa may be a step forward. He also hinted at migration as another threat to U.S. politics and how civil wars contribute to migration. African demographic expansion could either be seen as an asset or an expense, stating that it would be better to invest in Africa's young, their health, capital, education, and promote agriculture. Trump's anti-abortion claim isn't necessarily why migration from Africa is at its peak. Maybe we could take a look at it from an exploitation point of view, the destructive exploitation Africa faces from the Western world. 
Job opportunities are either low or not favorable enough, causing African youth to migrate to the West, whether they are seen as threats. Bill and Melinda wrote recently, there's been a lot of discussion about what happens if large numbers of young people in the poorest countries are denied opportunities to build better lives. In another statement said, people worry about insecurity, instability, and mass migration. We wish they would also recognize young people's enormous potential to drive economic growth. Exactly. Population growth control in Africa will depend on many other factors besides just birth control and migration. However, it seems population growth is not the main problem for Africa's underdevelopment anymore, but it is a way forward. What are your views on Bill Gates' concerns on Africa's population boom? Bill Gates's philanthropy contributed to him getting knocked of the number spot on Forbes' list of the world's richest people. For more insight on that, check out this video. Why Forbes withdraws Bill Gates as number one richest person in the world.